This is the second part in the Azure Data Factory series. Uh, so in this part, um, I'm going to demonstrate how to install the self-hosted integration runtime on Azure and uh, along with uh, downloading and installing the integration runtime software. So uh, this is the uh, Azure data factory uh, editing tool. So once you're here, go to the connections and go to the integration runtime. And if you create a new integration runtime, uh, select this perform data movement and dispatch activities to external computers. Uh, click on next and uh, click on self-hosted integration runtime. Click on next. And if we call it integration runtime uh, one, click on next. <coughs> Here, uh, we can do a manual setup. So first step, you download the download and install the integration runtime, and then you use the key to register the integration runtime. So, which means when you use the key, when you use the key, it links the software to the Azure service here. Um, so I have the software already downloaded uh, in here. So I can click on it and try to install it. So now the installation is done. Click on finish. And this is the place where we place the key. So copy the first key. And you come over here and paste the key over here. And then it validates the key right away and click on register. This uh, connects the integration runtime software with the Azure service, Azure integration runtime uh, in Azure. And this is my local computer. And uh, this is the integration runtime. We don't need to enable the remote access from internet. And uh, I click on finish. Yeah, that uh, enable remote access thing is for some other purpose. So in this video, we are not enabling. So it's done. You can close this. So what I just did is I, on my local computer, I installed the integration runtime software. And then I pasted the key from Azure into the software and click on register, which linked the software to the Azure integration runtime, to the self-hosted integration runtime on Azure. Um, so yeah, that's the installation and the creation of the self-integration runtime.